It's 104 days of summer vacation. It's good. Uh, uh, I don't know the lyrics. I never knew. I never fucking knew the lyrics. I don't even know how they. I don't know who made that song or wrote it, but they got it. Uh, but hey, niggas, it's your boy Max Summer Six. Duh. And today, 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 today. What we doing? We reacting, duh, dummy. Uh, today we're reacting to bite of rare steak has mysterious venom. I don't know what's wrong with humans. Don't know what the fuck wrong with people. Our decisions and what we decide to do with life. Um, this is by Brave Wilderness, of course. These these are the only motherfuckers doing shit like this. Ain't nobody doing shit like this. Uh, I don't even know how this is legal for them to do this on camera. Um, but they're doing it. But, uh, yeah. So, they're, I guess they get, someone get bit by a snake. So, we're gonna tune in to him getting by, bit by a snake and possibly dying. So, like I'm subscribing. Let's do it. All right. Been special permission to search this mountain road here in Borneo. That's, see, we already pausing. See, where the fuck is Coyote at? Where the fuck is he at? Where is, where is... Coyote Peterson. I'm, I keep every time I react to this channel, I keep getting Cody. I keep getting Todd. I don't want Todd. I don't want. I don't want Bill or Phil. I want. I want Coyote. That's what I want. He the real deal. Holy. He that nigga. He that nigga. I ain't got nothing against Cody ass, but shit. He he wear pocket shirts. And I probably. I bet. I bet he got a pocket shirt. I bet he got a pocket on his shirt. For one of the rarest and most undocumented snakes on the planet, the Malcolm's Pit Viper is not only mysterious, but no one's ever filmed a fully grown adult and no one really knows the full effects of its toxic venom. If we find this colorful viper, this will be one of the very first times it's ever been filmed in 4K. Let's go. People come out here for years and not find one of these snakes. This told is a super, I, super rare species. Even if you don't like- I told you he got a fucking pocket on his shirt. I gotta let that go. You know I'm just knowing. I guess, I guess it's a trend. I think it's. A, I, I guess it's a, a sporty, and it got a bun on it. A pocket shirt with a bun on it, so nothing comes out. I might. I might. Hey, listen. I. I didn't gotta get on the phone with suicide prevention. Cause I'm. I'm. I'm there. I'm ready. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Snakes, I will bet you that if when you see this one, we'll make a snake lover out of you. What was that? Is it? Got it. That is not a Malcolm's Pit Viper. Got it. We have a Saba Pit Viper here. She's a little feistier than I originally thought. Damn. Damn. Oh, she's not happy. We woke her up. Let's back up. Let's give her some more space, guys. We've got to give her a clear area. Yeah, leave, leave. She's warranted to be a little cranky with us. Clearly, we took the snake <laughs> out of its tree. You're just its staring birth. at this him. This is an absolutely gorgeous pit viper. Look at it giving us that nice oh, tail gorgeous. whip right there. Most vipers got heat sensing pits. She's looking right at me. She knows that I am the threat. So I'm going to just turn this way. Oh, beautiful pose. Look at that S curve. Perfect strike position. Look at how stunning her coloration is. Bright green. Those red eyes are specific to the Saba vipers that you will find here on Kinabalu. And this is what Kinabalu is known for. It's beautiful species of tropical snakes. Some of the most colorful snakes in the world can only be found here on this mountain. Okay, and she's off. And so are we. Let's keep searching, guys. Finding an adult Malcolm's Pit Viper won't be easy. They're more dangerous, oh, more rare, and much larger than the Saba Pit Viper. This is the first snake that we have seen out here in Kinabalu. We have been looking for snakes all night. We're pulling out all the stops. We've got some of the best experts out Imagine searching with us tonight. We need as many biting. eyes what looking into this do? forest as possible. These are super elusive and camouflaged snakes. One that people travel from all over the world to find. Hey, Lockie, have you ever seen a Malcolm's Pit Viper? before? Never. With the help of Lockie Gilding, our regional reptile expert, we will hopefully track down this mythical snake and avoid its mysterious venom, which we know is super toxic. Kind of a tiny little gecko here. Bite him, bite him, bite him. Ow. Stupid ass. Ow, bit me. Big dumb ass. This is a curved toed gecko. They're called a curved toed gecko because look at the claws there. The feet are almost like hooks. Beautiful banded tail. Beautiful cryptic patterning on the back. It's almost like a leopard. See that? Cool bands. This is why we got diseases, bro. This is why we be having diseases, bro. Now, what if that gecko would have had Ebola? 
You dead, nigga. You, uh, uh, we got cures for Ebola, but I think we ran out. You dead, nigga. See? All because you want to go explore shit. Along Leave the face, alone. take a peep of that eye. Geckos have the coolest eyes. Fun fact about geckos, they do not have eyelids, so they actually have to lick their eyeballs to keep them moist. If we were to stay here long enough with this gecko, and he was gonna stop biting. He keep he biting, biting, he keep biting there. you. Come on, dude. Ah, am I being so mean? I know I disturb you, but dang, this guy's just laying in yeah, there. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he in there. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna that's take one way to you. make friends, huh? That's how we do it. Are you kidding me? He's a grumpy gecko. Seriously, look at this. Just biting the living daylights out of my finger. Well, this is a good way to see a gecko. It's not really how I wanted this to go, you know? Sometimes take, him off. take the opportunities that present themselves. I'm gonna put this gecko back where we found it. See you later, grumpy. With all these reptiles out on the prowl, I like our odds at finding you one of these Malcolm Pit Vipers. They are one of the hardest snakes to find in all of Asia, being only found here on this mountain range. And they like it when it's wet. He's got to time it to perfection, I where you too. have the perfect temperature, hey, humidity. If the moon's too bright, hey, the snakes hey, don't get active. Yo. You need to nail it all in order to even have a chance of finding these guys. Oh, oh my God. It's like a bat. Oh. It's on me. I got it. That's a cicada. All the things screeching and screaming out here in the rainforest. This is what's doing it. You if just I break keep this, uh, back picking plate, shit up. I don't know. Look at those wings. Hey, what the fuck? Totally translucent. He be wildin', bro. He just no gloves, no away. nothing. He be wildin'. Ooh. Oh, hey, it's on you. <laughs> Whole time, y'all can keep playing. He's shitting on y'all. Clearly, the wildlife is out and about tonight, and the weather conditions are really looking good. I'm feeling lucky about finding the rare Malcolm Fit Viper. When you're out searching the forest at night, one of the things that we're looking for is eye shine. Well, what do we got, Mark? This is a horn frog. Gently pick him up. Be cool. They'll be cool. So, this is a Kobayashi horn frog. Now, I've noticed a lot of the frogs here. In Kinabalu, they don't have a flight response. You can kind of just casually go up and pick them up with your hand. Frogs I'm used to catching, you have to like grab them because they're gonna jump away. These frogs you can just casually pick up, which is kind of nice. Get a chance to appreciate horn frogs like this one. There we go. Yeah, now you can really cool, see them standing thug, proud and tall. See those two horns right above the eye? That's why it's called a horn frog. It's puffing up right now as a defense display to make itself bigger. I actually think Makes it look pretty cool. This one is looking like the leaf litter here. See that leaf? And there's many horn frogs all around the world, but this Kobayashi horn frog is endemic to Kinabalu. This one can only be found here at this park. So this is truly a rare sight in a creature I have never seen before. So it's always cool to find a new species. Kind of got a grumpy face, I won't lie. Not a very happy looking frog. Let's keep searching. Oh. Whoa. Guys, look at that. This gecko munching on a cicada. Looks like a cicada that just molted because it, its wings aren't really there. So yeah, this cicada probably was just like coming up out of its shell, probably perched there, drying out its wings. This Die. gecko pounced it. That's a big meal for a gecko that size, but that's the same gecko species that just munched on my finger. You know, even though it wasn't able to break skin, they can, they can chomp. We're not gonna disturb it. We're gonna let that gecko have its midnight snack. Lizards right will hunt. There, and they aren't the only ones. It's mealtime out here. This is the moment where we really might stand to find the creature we're after. You never go into snake territory without a snake, snake hook. And it really helps when you have experts on your team to help you find stuff. After searching for hours on end, nearly two whole nights of nonstop scouring, everything was about to change. Searching for wildlife in beautiful locations like Borneo leaves us with very little time the to audacity. We always have a lot going on outside of the kitchen, but luckily for us, we have Factor. Factor delivers fresh, nutritious, chef-prepared meals that are ready to eat in just two minutes. Because Factor, guys, or click the link up your next box, plus meals delivered. What do we got, Mark? Snake. Got a Snake uh, right there, guys. <gasps> it's a Malcolm's. That's the one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I got a, a pocket yes. shirt doing ass. Good spot, man. Why did you the reach tonight? But that's it, guys. Oh my goodness. Grab it. We got one. This is a really yeah. good snake. Let me get the snake hook all the way out. Oh man. <laughs> now I got to be careful because it may just slink down. Here, buddy. Let's see if I can get it. He's not going. Then he can name Malcolm. He's not going. Perfect. Hi, buddy. Oh, my 
my goodness. That is it, guys. I cannot believe we got one. <laughs> there it is. This is the snake that we were after. It is a pit viper, guys. It's a heat sensing snake, so it's gonna be looking at me a lot, but I'm gonna try to get it to face the cameras because it came all this way. I want you guys to see the snake. We do not want to get bit by this snake. There can be no complacency with an unknown outcome like this. We have no so idea the point of you catching what it? would I happen if anyone were to be bit by this snake. We have not been able to find any record of a bite, so the effects of the venom are completely unknown to us. All we do know oh, is that yeah. it would be a very serious bite and we'd be going straight to the hospital. And even with that, it could be a very dicey situation in terms of what would inevitably happen to you. Well, see that? You'd be really at the mercy of the medical right, professionals Malcolm. here in Borneo. You're gonna be free. Potentially save your life. Free at last, be a free at last. Fight with this one. We're not gonna push our luck with this, oh, see? What a gorgeous, gorgeous tropical pit so viper. This isn't it. a boreal species, that's why it was, oh, hang on. Get up out of here, yup. Don't worry, don't worry. He's just being a little active. Here we go. Here we go. Just like we we back to them days, huh? We back we back to being captives and slaves, huh? Cause that's a nigga. That that's that snake is a nigga. A nigga named Malcolm. That's definitely a nigga. And and and, and his captives just keep just keep taking them. Just keep fucking with them. Leave them alone. All right, that's that's good. This is a snake we hiked all the way up here for. This is why we traveled over 40 hours by airplane to this country. When it comes to snakes and the history of brave wilderness and filming our videos, this is the rarest snake that I have ever found by a landslide. And we're gonna try to capture some of the highest quality footage ever filmed of this species. What you're looking at right there, guys, is definitely a first. The, the scale name, pattern the of tail this red, species. I mean, green. the face has these really pronounced scales. They almost look holographic. The coloration just jumps right off the skin and it goes from a dark green to a lime green and then the black between the scales. I think the head of the snake is almost unparalleled and how cool it looks. And look at those black eyes. Super intimidating tiger stripes. Oh, no, no. It looks like someone well, illustrated this black. snake, guys. I, I can't believe what I'm looking at. Cody, Andrew, have you ever seen a snake down. like this in your life? I haven't. It is stunning. It has a captivating quality. It really does, and it's lie, almost. It a beautiful ass snake, though. I mean, it's it's mesmerizing. Oh, it's, oh, yep. striking at me. Striking at me. Don't it's worry about it. a chance to run, and then, of Tyrone. Course, you've got I the mean, red welcome. tip on the tail that it uses as a warning flag. If this snake becomes threatened, it's going to wiggle this red tail, warning, I'm toxic. You're gonna to take a bite if you get any closer. See, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. The fangs are coming out. What we're looking at here is likely an adult male. The females of this pit viper can grow five to six feet in length. I would say that this male, approaching two and a half feet. If there's a cooler snake out there to find, I wanna know. I'm curious, everyone watching, tell me in the comments, because I wanna go find that snake too, but in terms of all of my wildlife adventures, I have never seen any snake this beautiful. Certainly not this rare. We were going for hours at a time without seeing a thing, let alone a snake. I cannot believe this snake actually exists, and I certainly am in shock that it's right here in front of us. That we I thought, actually I thought found you were getting bit by it. It's a snake too. You did it's all this stunning. Just the coloration, unbeatable. The crown jewel of reptiles here at Mount Kinabalu in Borneo. Bam, we got it. I'm it? Mark Vins. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, guys, we're gonna set this snake up for some photographs. Who knows if we'll ever see one again. Giving this nigga a photo shoot. You enslaved him and then gave him a photo. <laughs> <laughs> you enslaved the nigga and gave him a photo shoot. He probably confused as shit. What the fuck is going on? You think he's taking my picture? But uh I ain't gonna lie, that kinda pissed me off, no bad. Cause I thought I thought bro was finna get bit by them shits. I thought bro was finna get bit. He ain't even get bit by that shit. He got bit by the wrong animal. This P to clickbait the fuck out of us too. Bite of rare snake has mysterious venom. He clickbaited the fuck out of us. Fuck you, Cody. Fuck you, Cody. But, uh, or Mark, whatever. Fuck you. Just fuck you. I'm playing. I know how to, no, fuck you. But, uh, 
yeah, that's the end of that. Um, yeah, I was hoping I was hoping a nigga get bit or something. He ain't get bit. Just just did all that just to look at a nigga. But uh, that's the end of that. Like, comment, subscribe, and tune into the next video. All right. Oh, look at that. That's my hand. All right. Are you ready or not? Let's get it started. I had that shit for the loaf. That's what they wanted. I told her I'm happy to see you, but that's a Glock in my pocket. This is not R&B. We a pop you.